We've had so much rain in January and early February that if, if, if it did snow, we'd have feet of it. But of course, the night we go to, but the night before we go to Atlanta, it does this shit. So yeah, at least it's not on the roads, but it is officially days of the dead weekend. It's here. We waited over a year. It's finally here. So let's get right into this shit. Oh, we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. Story time with Chatty. Oh, photo finish episode 10,000. Um, so on the way to meet Tony and Melissa at their house, I was driving. I had about a 45 minute drive from my house. So I was driving. I had already went to the restroom this morning just to make sure I hadn't eaten anything this morning, didn't eat anything last night. But I'm so excited on my nerves. And I have IBS. So we're, I'm like, oh, I'm feeling like I may have to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, I start hitting every red light. And then I'm like, oh, Lord, here we go. So I'm like seven minutes from a Kroger, which I know where Kroger's at. So I'm like, oh, God, this could be bad. So I finally get to Kroger, and there's nobody in the parking lot because it's like 715. And I don't know where the bathrooms are at Kroger because they're different every Kroger you go to. So I find it. I find the bathroom, and I'm like, well, I'll be good as long as there's not anybody cleaning the bathrooms. And it's usually a single stall bathroom too, isn't it? Well, this one was a double stall. No, it was a single stall. It was a single stall. Okay. Which and, is really good to have. Yeah. Oh, for sure. So I get there, I see an old man with his cleaning cart right in front of the bathroom, and I immediately start to panic. <laughs> so I just walk over to him, and he's getting ready to walk in. I said, sir, I need to go to the bathroom. So I just walk in. I mean, it was to the point where it was, it was, it was dumb and dumber status. As soon as I sat down, it happened, right? So I'm like, okay, thank God, right? Everything's fine, plenty of TP, all that stuff. I get up, I flush, I do that, I turn to flush, and I, you have the the levers like way in front of me. So I lean down, and I have a bottle of Imodium that falls into the toilet as it's flushing. Which clogged the toilet. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, so I don't reach in there, obviously. Who would do that? <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't my AirPod case. It was in this in this pocket. So I'm like, oh, no. So I try to flush again, and it flushes, but it's yeah, still bottle. clogged because a little bottle of Imodium that looks just like this was in the bathroom, was in the toilet. I had to re-up. So... I'm like, what do I do? So there's a plunger next to it. So I start plunging the shit. Like, not the shit. The shit was gone, but it was still clogged because of this. So like, I'll get it out. I'll make it throw up, right? So I, I start plunging, plunging, flush. Then not only did it not unclog it, it starts to rise like it's fixing to overflow. So I, I, I don't run, but I jog over, wash my hands, and then I run out. And I just tell the old man that I'm sorry. I just say I'm sorry. And then I just run away. He looks at me like I'm. he saw a ghost. Well, I can't not have a modium. So I have to go back and find some and buy it. Meanwhile, he's just looking at me this whole time I'm walking around. So I go to self-checkout, and I'm just, I just feel him peering at me. Like he had went in there and saw what happened. I had overflowed the toilet. And <laughs> oh, I just kept, I, as I pay, I, walk, I say, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I just walked out. It was just, it was horrifying, dude. Like, I can't never, ever just go and use the bathroom and things are okay. Like, the, I, it was perfect timing. As soon as we sat down, it happened. Everything was fine. I'm just like, thank God that didn't go into my pants because that would have been horrible. I would have I would have just canceled my trip. There would been no... God, but what, it was perfect timing to when I leaned down, it fell in the toilet as I hit the flush that has the jet engine. And he just shot. I mean, this just disappeared. <laughs> and it got lodged in the toilet artery, and I couldn't get it out. So, shout out to that old man. I, I know he hates me, but. <laughs> uh, BS stories with Chatty. Yeah. Oh, man. Year two. It's always an emergency. <laughs> it's just like, God, man. It... It's bad. It's bad. Dude, that was so funny. Gotta get it. Gotta get the shot in. We're here. We made it to McKay's Chattanooga. We're here. Right on.
stop numero uno. So McKay's was a success, oh, fellas. Yeah. Oh, that's my. <laughs> Is this smell bad? Yeah. It didn't smell like strawberry milk. It smelled like sour. Mm. <laughs> Mine smells good. That's great. <laughs> I wish it was an air freshener. Are you recording right now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> strawberry milk, everybody. Wait, so McKay's was a success. And it's gone. It doesn't need to be. Uh, Strawberry milk. Chad loaded up with about 50 movies Section. in there. Well, it's just little cats. Always. Common ass titles. Yeah, Jordan, of, hustler of the year, bunch everybody. Of oats. <laughs> I did get a bunch of, I did sow my royal oats there earlier. Old ass titles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just found a bunch of stuff to flip. I, yeah. I didn't find one thing that I wanted for myself. Uh, but I found some cool, you know, yeah. the so, usual stuff I always find. Some Scream Factories? Yeah, Scream Factory. With I know slip. what you did last summer. Ernest True. Scared Stupid, True Romance. Like Jordan's just, Jordan's got the, like, the eagle eye going into McKay's They always now. sell. Yeah. I found other stuff that sells too, but it takes longer. I didn't pick any of that up. Yeah. These yeah. instantly sell. So. What'd you say, babe? Nothing. Oh. So now it's time to go grab something to eat. And go then, sit it down there. And then, then it's Atlanta bound. We got what, like an hour and a half more drive. Yeah. So. This video is unofficially sponsored by Red Bull Red Edition. What's the difference in that? Oh, it's cranberry flavor, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit nicer than the City Cafe in Murfreesboro. If not strawberry, I might have to go to that. I don't know what it is. That's red velvet right there. That's blue yeah. chocolate. Well, I might have to go in this department. That's more your line. Yeah. Or the strawberry. That's the one me and Ivan was talking about. Or that one you put. What do y'all think of these desserts? We're the taking. We're getting pink one. strawberry. Yeah. You get some strawberry milk with that, baby. Just they, you know, the same cookies right and cream like the pie down there. See, the pie would be more my lane than the cheesecake would be. Decisions, decisions. Is it, we're gonna just get them all. Throw this down. Just grab me milk. I mean, I'm not doing it. This isn't the time <laughs> to try something risky like that. What is that one? Turtle brownie cheesecake. That's a brownie on top of the cheesecake? Yeah. Good That's all brownie. That's all brownie. Red velvet cheesecake. Yeah. Butterfinger cheesecake. Yeah. Chance, you gotta show it off one more time. I think Chance got the biggest piece there is possibly is. Thoughts on the city cafe, Chetty? It was it was good. I just picked the wrong thing. I should have went with spaghetti. I went with country fried steak, which was good. It was just it was my it was a bad decision on my part, but it was really good food though. And then what kind of uh, did you go with a cheesecake? That's one strawberry with? cheesecake. Yeah, it's fire fire water. Did you already try it? Yeah, it's good. I just took a couple bites of it. The pieces are like like humongous. I, like just imagine that whole cake, dude. That'd be insane. But it was good. Where'd you go with Mr. Biz? I went with the French dip. Solid was choice. Very good with onion rings. And then the turtle brownie cheesecake. They legit had a brownie on top of the piece yeah, of cheesecake. Half was brownie, half was cheesecake. And I ate about half of it. It was a very good. Yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Where'd you go? Melissa went with the what bacon egg and cheese toaster sandwich. Yeah, sourdough. Sourdough bread, it was good. 
I went with the shrimp Philly cheesesteak, which was quite delightful, I may say. And then I got the red velvet cake, I think, or cheese. No, I got the red velvet cheesecake to bring bring to the house with us. So red velvet's fire. Oh yeah, can't, can't go, go wrong with it. Well, and then Melissa, would you, you get the Butterfinger cheesecake? Yes. She got Butterfinger cheesecake. So we got a wide variety of. We got a cheesecake cheesecake smorgasbord going on. Cheesecake mafia. That's right. Boom. Settled. So we're back on the interstate, headed into Atlanta. We're probably about an hour and a half out, and we'll be there. Uh, there was an issue with the house that we that we rented. It was like a pipe that burst, so they upgraded us to a better house. So I'm just gonna show y'all. Uh, it's really nice, Clark. We got high ceilings, you know. What I'm <laughs> Lots of step or laundry room, Chad. And this is a. Uh, I, me and Jordan are sharing a room. Um, separate bed. No, oh, you do have a TV though. We're sharing a room. This is <laughs> we in here, Ivy. We in here. We're up in there, man. We in this joint. Let's get our tickets, Tony. We're trying. We're trying. Uh, but hi, uh, thank you for coming out. Like, let's hop into this. Sure thing, man. Um, so I guess let's start out with uh, current projects you're working on. Anything you got going on that you can talk about, or things that you can't talk about. <laughs> it's a lot. It's so weird now. Like even like things that aren't supposed to be secret. Like we just signed this NDA. Like man, no one gives two shits about your Tide commercial. <laughs> 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 like what do you know? You know we have a lot of followers. Like, you do not. <laughs> you gave them the whole my people will call your people. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it happen, guys. Uh, I'm a big nobody. You'll love us. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> this is great, dude. I love this is also like one thing I love about these horror cons. So I, 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 there's there's a different fan. Like we're all fans of multiple genres of things like sci-fi or comic books. But with the horror fans, I don't know if it's because we all felt like we're outcasts.
Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so and then the selfie. Yeah, yes, sir. And then, do you need someone to take the photo? Uh, I can do it. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I didn't remember if it was out. Dude, thank you for waiting. No problem. No pleasure to meet you. Tony Wilson. Nice to meet you. Let's go, guys. Yeah, I can get you to take a photo. Yeah, for sure, brother. For sure. Are you, are you guys? Yeah, he's. he's yeah. Oh, cool. Can we, yeah, cool. Can we not record right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So what have you think? What have you thought about the convention so far? I've had a great time, but more, more so than the guests that I had, it's been my friendships I've had. I, I really enjoy these friends that have came. And, and, and you got you an awesome, an awesome, awesome little gift in that little awesome bag. Figure. We're I'm not sure going to show gonna, it out yet. Are we going to show it out and about at the end? Yeah, we'll show it. Let me help you run your channel. Tony. Okay, you do that. All right. Hi there. This is um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's Ivy's got something special in that bag right there. He's ready. To, we'll show off everything once we give it. I know. Is he even standing there? He's like, well, I
did a lot of screen tests with these ladies, and yeah, I mean, it was a long process. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean it was just an audition and, and back then it was the untitled problem. And um, he called me up, he says, I'm doing this project and I want you to be in it. I want you to play Michael Myers and uh, if you don't do it, I'm not going to do it. So I was like, okay, cool, you know, how many, what are we looking at? And I signed on for a couple and, and then afterwards found out that Rob had only signed on for one. I said, you better do the second one, man. <laughs> So that's how I got involved. He just called me up and As far as part two of the film, um, which version, as far as the theatrical release or the director's cut that Rob had released, which <laughs> version do you guys prefer? Oh, um, I, I mean, I like the asylum. I mean, I just thought that was really badass. Like that ending was, that ending gave me chills. Um, yeah. Yeah, I always thought that he messed, you know, I always ask Rob, I'm like, what did you do with my smile at the end? He's like, dude, that was you. I was like, I didn't do anything. I was like, oh, creepy. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I like them both for different reasons, but I would have to go with that ending for sure. One word has shot and Rob said the box. Oh, yeah, I like That's that. the other one. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> 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 Just one, you got all three. All oh, three. Oh, what the fuck? Well, show us what it is. <laughs> Super hard to find. Oh, Halloween comics. To find. Let's read them. Woo! And <laughs> <laughs> that gives me something to read tonight when I'm yeah. on the toilet. When you're, when you're shitting. <laughs> hey, Tony, bring me one of your comics. Yeah. And some toilet paper, too, if you need it. Did we do good? I already read part one, yeah. I got part two. I walked by there and I saw that they were gone. I was like, oh, that's a Yeah, I was waiting for you to say something. Like, dude, they sold. They sold already. That's so hard to find. 
So it's a whole movie and a girl. It's it's like a different story. I have never seen these in person. Well, I've heard of them well. Oh my God! Make that pass! Come on! No, no, he's rocking the. Yeah, I'll take that. Shoo shoo! You so mad at me? Miss, what what's your reaction to the ball game going on right now? Uh, best part of the weekend. <laughs> Paul back there pacing. Oh, who says that? Joe Mixon. He had, to, he had to sit in the first quarter. He, he oh, oh my. Third down. He's taking it to uh, inside. Oh. Ooh, it was close. I'm going. What's going on, Triple Flix Mafia fans? My name's Jonathan Ivy, but you may know me as the leg lock monster. Yeah, I'm the guy your wife's been talking about. Anyway, let me talk to you for a minute. I came to Day of the Dead down here in Atlanta with my guys, my brothers, my amigos, my compadres. Yes, I proved my dominance on Madden with uh, Slasher Junkie's son, Aiden. And uh, let me just say this. Oh, wait a minute, I'm getting a phone call. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Tell her I call her back. Yep. Oh, she's a pretty thing. Yeah. All right, I'll call her back. Yep. All right, I'm recording a video right now. Peace. All right, guys, I got down here. And I started looking for some, uh, some, some horror figures. So I only picked up a couple. Um... I ran across this Walmart exclusive that Friday the 14th kind of schooled me on. I wanted to pick it up. I like the packaging, the box. Um, open it up, give you a little, little look at your doodah there. Absolutely. Uh, add this to the collection, nothing big. Now, I also came across this NECA Ultimate, um, the Derek Mears remake, Jason. Now, I went to a panel while I've been here at Day of the Dead, evidently, Derek Mears is almost a professional MMA fighter. Um, uh, I can't believe he actually chose to go into acting and not professional fighting, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but the, the, the really, the holy grail of this trip for me is um, I'm a big Captain Spaulding fan. And, and I've also spent a lot of time the last 10 years thinking about Sherry Moon Zombie, if you know what I mean, guys. I think you do. Um, but yeah, man, Devil's Rejects, uh, pick this up. And uh, it's a rare piece. But I've had a beautiful trip. I've been surrounded by friends. They put up with me, and I really appreciate them. And, uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed to Triple Flicks Mafia, make it happen. You won't be disappointed. All right, guys. Peace. What about your channel? Hey, you know what? A better channel than Triple Flicks Mafia? Jonathan Ivey. It'd be in the description. But if they don't do me dirty, you know what I mean? Go subscribe. All right, guys. This time, really, peace. This is a whole portion of the video. Uh, I think I probably, uh, me and Chance probably went the most ham out of anything. So we'll just quickly, quickly go through this. We'll start off with the McKay's stuff. We stopped at McKay's on the way down. You saw that. Picked up the mug Blu-ray. Uh, it follows with the slip cover. Just gonna flip the still book now. Been one there with the slip. Picked up one of my favorite comedies, Road Trip. Just love that movie. And Angel is Falling for $12. That's a good price that I wanted it. I already have the slip for it, so. And then at the convention itself, there's a DVD blue, uh, bootleg guy there, so. I've been wanting to pick this up for a while. Dr. Giggles. Picked up a Christmas horror movie, Elves. Also another Christmas horror movie, Don't Open Till Christmas. And they had a deal going for three uh, or four for 35. So th this was the last one I found. It's a documentary on Tom Savini. Uh, Screen Greats, I guess is what it's called. And then let's see. Stopped by the Vinegar Syndrome booth. And picked up two titles. Got Pigs with the slip. Uh, he still had a couple copies of Evil Town with the slip still on it. So, picked that up. That's the end of the movies. We'll get... Oh, here we go. We'll go with this next. Got a shirt while I was there. Unless it got me this. It's an awesome shirt. It's an NES Jason style shirt. Which is pretty cool if you can see it. Also got an awesome 
NES, NES Jason print. It's gonna go on the wall. Really cool. Look, anything NES Jason is is right up my alley. Uh, we'll get to that last. Picked up this figure loose from Tyrant Toys. Got the Jason X McFarlane figure. Been wanting this for a while. He does have the machete. He just put it in there separate. But I've been looking for that figure for a while. He'll go on the shelf nicely. And then, what else do we got? Oh, we show up this guy. Finally picked up the Mezco. I, I guess they're called Stylized. The Halloween Michael Myers. Picked him up. It's a horrible glare. And then, Melissa surprised me with these. Um, I've never seen these in person. Ignore the, the price tags on these, but he gave an awesome deal to her. She surprised me with these for my birthday and anniversary gift, but that's Halloween number one comic. Halloween two. And then the Halloween three. I mean, these things are super, super, super rare. I'm probably gonna read them once and then I'm gonna get a frame to put all three of these in. Really nice. <laughs> I got an audience. <laughs> what else do we have? Oh, Paul. My buddy Paul hooked me up with uh, this bad boy right here. He ordered it, it came in damaged, and he got a refund on it and gave me an amazing deal. I've been wanting this piece for a long time. I already got a space set up for him, but it is a quarter scale Jason 2009. I'm gonna keep the sack head on him. But I, once I get him on the shelf, you'll see it. And then the two autographs that I got, I got Tyler Maine signed a knife for me. And then the last autograph that I got, this is fantastic now. Make this quick. Met Derek Beers and got him to sign the bottom of my mask right there. So, you're good, Savannah. You're good. This ain't professional. <laughs> but yeah, that's my haul for for Days of the Dead this year. Pretty impressive. I got a mess to clean up now, and we got to get out of the house because we're going to watch the Halloween panel now. It went by way too fast, once again, but it's a winner. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. The Viz. What are we doing? Showing pickups? Yeah, we'll do it after or later. Give any thoughts on the yeah. convention? Uh, uh, oh, you getting your thoughts on it? Yeah, I mean, it was nice going in this year, a whole lot more prepared. Knowing just, you know, stuff that would, they would most likely have, figures, artwork. I didn't buy any movies. Um, the ones I did buy, I'm selling. So, I'm not going to show you any movies. I got uh, three figures and one print. Uh, one of my favorite movies that's become one of my favorite mm -hmm. movies is The Fog. So this is from uh, Cavity Colors, Devin Whitehead, uh, The Fog, is that correct? Yep. Okay. You're correct. Uh, I didn't think they had one and then they, I kept asking about it and they eventually found one like down at the bottom of, of a box. But yeah, I was happy to get that and get that up on the wall. Yeah, that's, I really like that artwork on that one. Yeah, I like that purple on it. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, same thing for The Fog. Ended up getting two figures from this one table. Tyrant Toys. Tyrant Toys. He gave me a deal for both of them. The first one is uh, The Fog again, the uh, Captain Blake. Yeah. Yeah. Retro figure. Yeah. It's really really the only option when it comes to uh, the Fog collectibles. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second one they gave me in the deal was the Tall Man, uh, NECA. It is NECA, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Old school NECA right Cult there. classics, but this one was $80 and the other figure was 40, but he gave me both of them for 100. So, uh, pretty good deal for that. I've always had my eye on that one. And then my, my big boy that I got this weekend, it was actually the first thing I bought uh, when we got there, it is the quarter scale final chapter. Jason, which you've seen this plenty of times on Tony's channel and Ivy's channel. I don't have that one. On. You don't yeah, have yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, and I got it for about retail. He, he had it marked right at 125, which yeah. is retail. Cheaper so. than retail because because uh, you didn't pay tax on it. 
Yeah. So yeah, I was in the market for another quarter scale and this is what I went with. So that's all I picked up. I'm happy with my purchases and yeah, it's been a solid weekend. It's been very, very fun. Anyways, I'm done. Now Chad. <laughs> I don't think Chad got anything. All right, it's the depressing part of the trip. We're on the interstate back. Uh, yeah. fi final thoughts, everybody? You wanna go first, Chad? No, just another awesome trip, man. Uh, I didn't really buy anything. I mean, I bought a couple of movies here and there, but I didn't buy anything <laughs> at the convention, but I had a, I had a blast again this year. The, uh, it was awesome hanging out with everybody and seeing all the stuff we did and eating good food and just having a good time, man. I look forward to next year. Um, we're gonna do some more stuff throughout the year, hopefully, but. This is the big one of the year. Yeah. This, I mean, it's, it's just, this is the big one. Tell everybody what you tried for the first time last night. I tried sushi for the first time. Jordan, myself, and everybody else thought I was gonna hate it, and I fell in love with it. So I, that was awesome. I actually ate sushi and enjoyed it. So and and vegetables. I, I ate some vegetables, just not the ones I ate last night. Yeah, I was eating a zucchini. I don't know what got over me. Maybe because it was sautéed, but it was really good. When you had hibachi, just in hibachi. Yeah, I've never had hibachi before. Did you, did you enjoy the show put on by the chef? Oh yeah, it was awesome. I mean, I couldn't catch any of the rice he threw in my mouth. <laughs> I've never seen him throw rice before. You never seen? I've that? seen him flip shrimp, and I've never seen him throw little things of rice. Yeah, they, they do that at ours up in Mount Julia. They yeah. at bonfire. They they throw the rice. Yeah. So a winner of a trip for you? Oh, absolutely, man. Five out of five. I loved it. All right. You just had Jersey Mike's for the first time. Just had Jersey Mike's for the first time. It was awesome. So baby um, steps. Getting, our getting little up. our little Chatty is growing up. <laughs> <laughs> He's growing up right before our eyes, trying new stuff, taking risks. Taking risks, man. Love it, Jordan. Uh, I mean, it was just another perfect trip. Uh, it was nice going to the convention for three days. Because by, by today, we're yeah. like, okay, I feel complete. Like, I'm ready to leave. Yeah. We, well, wanted, we, we wanted, wanted the trip to last longer, but the convention. Yeah, three days know, of the convention. We, we looked at everything that we could possibly look at and buy yeah. and stuff like that. But no, it was a good time. Good people. Like, it was a big group of us this time. Yeah, which we were we were kind of little. It was like 13 people. Yeah, 13 people in, in one, one house. house. I mean, it was, it had, uh, there were some reservations about it, but it turned out to be perfect everybody I mean, was happy and chill everybody stayed it was up till two o'clock in the morning laughing cut i mean we played card games yeah paul uh, and them brought their playstation so there was plenty of like heated madden games yeah. that happened which was fun to watch yeah the the most heated match of the of the weekend was aiden versus ivy yeah i mean that, that he had a crowd we had a crowd watching it was better than the super bowl yeah, yeah it really that, was that was my super bowl for the year but uh yeah it, it was great uh Good food, good times. It was a good time. <laughs> what about you, Melissa? It was great. That's um, I was happy to have Marley and Tabitha there, and Savannah, some more girls, and it was a great trip. I could have stayed another night or two. Yeah, yeah. yeah and saw some stuff around. I'll tell you one thing though. Atlanta Interstates, what's y'all's opinion on Atlanta Interstates? Shoo, shoo. Yeah, they can get confusing for sure. Yeah. Next year, Jordan will do the drive. I can, I can do the downtown driving next year. Yeah. Tony got a little stressed out. Oh, not a little. Not he a got little. a lot stressed out. <laughs> not a little. Let's see if I can flip this around. I don't think I can. But overall, my impressions of the trip, fantastic. I did everything I wanted to do on the trip. I uh, met who I wanted to meet. Uh, just all around good time. Uh, What's your finger? Oh, thank you, sir. Paul, uh, Paul and Aiden. It was awesome hanging out with them, like staying with them. Aiden's Aiden's hilarious for a uh, teenage kid. Typical right? teenager. It, awesome. Uh, had an awesome time with Paul. Getting to hang. In. This is the longest we've ever got to hang out with Paul. Yeah, Paul stayed in the house with us. He didn't stay at the hotel. So yeah, that was a good time. It was. It was. It was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely, we're gonna be back again next year. We want to make the trip longer next year. Yeah. Maybe add a day or two just to see some stuff around Atlanta. Yeah. But yeah, we enjoyed the hell out of it. Another Days of the Dead in the books for us. Yeah. Did you talk about that guy coming up to us? Oh, no. Shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to Jason. Uh, came up to us. It, it, it's a first time for me. Me too. That somebody other than like the 
that you see on like Instagram and, and Facebook yeah, that, that face to face it was a face to face video somebody that watches our channel in, in a different state in a different yeah. state yeah. They, it, it really surprised me because like, I was looking at some stuff and I felt somebody tap on my shoulder and it was like Tony I'm a big fan of your channel I'm a big fan of y'all's channel everybody he knew everybody yeah. I mean he he knew it, Paul he knew Ivy he knew did he say something about the visual maniacs yeah he said he said he'd been watching me and Chad from the beginning that's crazy yeah uh, he was like tomorrow are y'all gonna go uh, movie shopping on your way home like you did last year yeah I was like oh man <laughs> it, it, it's I mean it's just I geeked out over that it's yeah, just cool. it For was sure. pretty pretty cool I mean that's I did that to Chad when I first met Chad what about when you first saw me I was nervous and I didn't say nothing to you. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, that, that would have been my first, but you didn't. Yeah, well, Chad's more approachable. He is. He is. I, I agree. But yeah, it, it was awesome. Jason, if you're watching this, appreciate you coming up to us and saying saying hello to us, hanging out with us for a little bit. Yeah. Wish we could have hung out longer. Uh, but yeah, that was really awesome of you, man. Shout out to you. Um, in the picture, I, I'll, after we get done talking and everything here, we've got a ton of pictures I will... Yeah, but he's up in there, one of the pictures, right? yeah, he's yeah. in one of the pictures. Me and him took a picture together. So, shout out to you, brother. Uh, but yeah, awesome trip with a bunch of awesome friends. Uh, it went by way too fast. Yeah, way too it's fast. Too it just you try to soak up as much as you can, but it's it just flies by on you when you're yeah. having fun. It's a true statement. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, January took forever. Yeah, and then you know this and past it, week took forever, and then it's gone. Yeah, back to reality, but. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you want to. Comment down below. All that good stuff. Season two of Triple Flix Mafia begins with this. Yeah. Yeah. We probably we won't be on a schedule like we were last year at all. It's just whenever we feel like popping something up on the channel. Yeah. Uh, we do have a live stream coming up here in a week or two, maybe. Yeah. We're we're gonna do our top movies of 20 or full list of 2019 yeah uh, it, paul's gonna join us in on the stream yeah, me chad and paul have a list tony's gonna be our i'm gonna be the host host i'm gonna be the host with the mostest tuxedo uh, tony tuxedo tony in the house full yeah. slick back uh all that good stuff so be on the lookout for that i'll post it on our instagram when a couple days before we decide it'll to be do sometime it. this month yeah it'll be sometime this month so if you're not following us on instagram do it chad mine the triple flakes channel all that good shit until the next video peace